Hi everyone, it's Alex from The Gaming Guys, and I'm here to talk about, uh, I don't know, just talk about what's ever on my mind and play a little Terraria. Because I, uh, actually haven't shown you guys some Terraria before, so uh, I figured I might as well do something different. Uh, here's my simple, humble abode. I'm, uh, unfortunately a huge noob in when it comes to Terraria. I have no idea what goes on. I just know that I can place blown blocks like Minecraft. That's, that's the whole idea of it. So, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, play through. Why not? It's a, it's a fun time. Here's my tunnels that I made. It took me a while, actually. It was, uh, it was extremely intense. It involved 20 slimes attacking me at one time, and I barely got out. And it was, a uh, oh god, I lost, like, my guide and all that. My guide got de decapitated by something, I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. Ugh. I just really need to get some iron to make a grappling hook. That's my... That's my whole goal. Fuck you, bitch. You don't know me. Oh. Man, yellow slimes. We're getting intense now. Come on. Ow! Fuck you. Why am I only doing one damage? Swing my greatsword at you. You know, you suck so much. How much health does this guy have? He's got a lot. Shit. 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 Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. This guy will not die running away. Running away. Get my torch out. This is the only feature I wish Minecraft had that Terraria does actually have. Holding the torch and it lights up. God. It's such a simple thing to do. Thank God I killed it. Jesus Christ. <sighs> swim it, swim it, swim it, swim it, swim it. Oh, there we go. God, I hate sand in Minecraft, in Terraria. Just, I mean, I like sand in real life. I love beaches. But, I mean, just in, they have gravity in, uh, in games. So, that's, I, have a, I have a huge problem with that. I got a huge problem with gravity in general. So, uh, but that's a, that's a, that's another battle. Oh, fuck. Hey, some, like, root stuff. I have no idea what this stuff does. I, I have, okay. Literally, like, I'm such a, such an idiot when it comes to Terraria. Like, it's really, it's very sad. I really should work on that a lot. Place it down. Wooden arrow. So, uh, oh, yeah, I want to take this time to also tell you guys that, uh, I got into the beta for the Star Wars The Old Republic. And, uh, it's one of the weekend testing things. It's, uh... Tons of people get into it, but all you have to do is basically just sign up for an account and just be like, hey, I'd like to check this out, and uh, do all that. So I got a weekend pass for that, so that's freaking awesome. Because right now I'm recording this on a Friday night, and you guys will probably see uh, this up on Saturday, and that'll be the day that the beta opens, so I'll definitely have some videos for you guys probably in the coming week or so. Uh, probably on Monday. Monday, definitely I'll have a video. Maybe even Sunday. I mean, I know I still post videos on Sunday, but... It's really... I'm not sure what do you what do you think is better, because, like, no one posts videos on Sunday, because it's really this, their day off, but... I mean, I love doing this, so I always post on Sunday. Um, but yeah, so I got the Star Wars The Old Republic beta, which I'm definitely going to check that out. Uh, see what's worth, like, the $50 plus the... another, um, you know, $15 a month to play. I'm going to see if it's actually worth paying for, and if so, then definitely... I'll definitely get that. Ooh, cave. Um, so yeah, I'm getting that. And also, I would have had a video this week about uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, but unfortunately, uh, EA is a, is a cobbled together mess, especially Origin, uh, because it said uh, nothing, you know, I got my beta key off of uh, Rock Paper Shotgun. They were like, well, there are 12,000 beta keys that we have, so just make sure you have an account with us, and then will uh, give you a beta key. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I signed up for Rock, Paper, Shotgun, got an account there. And, you know, that was easy peasy and all that. And then, like, freaking <laughs> easy peasy. Yeah, I know, I, I say that, it's weird. Uh, so then uh, I got the beta key, and, uh, you know, so I had to redeem it on the Star Wars The Old Republic site. And what happened was, uh, you know, so I signed up for the account, I was like, okay, okay, okay. Then they're like servers. Something was wrong with their servers. I don't know. The, the nothing was really working that right, and uh, so that that was a huge problem. So I was like, okay, it's slow. I have to like leave for school and like 
literally, like, five minutes ago. Because this is in the morning when I saw it, so I was like, oh, shit, I better do it right now. Because I don't want to, like, miss out for some, like, you know, weird freak guy to, like, you know, who, have, who has tons of time to actually... Oh, crap, red slimes. Who has tons of time to actually, uh... Oh, God, I hate... What's the inventory button? Inventory. Inventory. I don't know what my inventory button is. But, uh, I don't want some weird freak guy to actually, uh... Okay, if I die, it's not really a problem. Uh, I don't want some weird freak guy to, like, get all the beta keys before I do, so... Oh, sweet, I lived. Um... Oh, God, I hate this thing. Um, so, you know, what happened was, basically, I just, uh... Kinda... I don't know. So, uh, so I managed to get the beta key, like... 10 minutes before I had to go to school. Well, I mean, like, 10 minutes after I had to go to school. Uh, so that was incredibly fun. Uh, so I got that, and I was like, okay, I better redeem it now. And for some reason, I didn't think of redeeming it later, but I just had to redeem it now. And the Star Wars redeeming thing on their site wasn't working, so I had to basically just redeem it on Origin, and it came up on Origin. It was like, it was like, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic beta testing weekend number one, uh, you know, I'm dead. Shit. Uh, stupid, like, piss-colored slimes. They suck. But anyway, so now I can tell a story, finally, without interruption by worms or slimes or anything like that. Uh, so basically what happened was that the whole, the origin thing came up and it was like, yeah, you can redeem it here. It's fine. It's cool. You're not supposed to redeem it on the site at all. So I redeemed it on the freaking origin and origin was like yeah okay you redeemed it congratulations and it didn't show up it didn't start installing so I was like okay that's cool I mean that I mean like what could go wrong so then later in the day when I got back from school I was like okay so maybe I should probably try redeeming it on Star Wars The Old Republic site and I did and it was like code has already been used and I was like so then I tried to figure it out, then I contacted Origin Support, because it was pretty much Origin's fault that this happened. Because it didn't send up a message or anything like that, and it was like, oh, so that bunny just got raped. Uh, so it didn't send up any message that was like, hey, you have to redeem this on the site, okay? So it didn't send up any message, so I was like, okay, well then, that sucks. So I contacted Origin Support, and I got some guy who's named like Dova, D Darka, Darkin, I don't know, some weird online name that... Sounded like Dovahkiin, I don't, I don't know, but I'm playing too too much Skyrim. Um, no, I got some weird guy, and he was like, uh, so I was like, so I had this problem with Origin, and then, you know, it won't show up, the, the uh, Star Wars Yellow Republic won't show up. And he was like, go to here, and it was support slash, Star Wars Yellow Republic slash support, and I was like, fuck you. But, I said thank you, I said thank you, don't worry, I didn't actually swear at him, because that'd be, that'd be bad. Uh, because he's actually probably a real person. And, uh, but I end up sending a submission form, so I sent the submission form, alright, and it was like, it was, uh, I think, it was Friday morning, that was, yeah, that was it, it was Friday morning, and, um, then I sent the submission form, and I was like, okay, so it has to be before, um, Saturday, it's gotta be before Saturday, because that was the, how does slime get there, anyway, so it was before Saturday, so I was like, okay, you know, that's, that's fine, that's no, that's no problem at all. And, uh, because it said, it literally said in right above the box that it was supposed to be max 24 hour, max 24 hours that they would respond to me, alright? So, finally, uh, I think, god, what day was it? It was, uh, two days ago, yeah, it was two days ago, on, uh, yeah, Tuesday, uh, no, wait, it was Wednesday, god, it was Wednesday that they sent me the email, I was like, we just received your submission form, don't worry, you'll be hearing back from us soon. So, that was the, that was, uh... That was pretty much the reason why I did not get to participate in the first, you know, beta of Star Wars The Old Republic. And, uh, so that's the whole gist of it. And then, luckily, when I signed up for the, uh, you know, on Star Wars The Old Republic site, I was like, yes, I would love to test, that'd be awesome. And then it offered me to test, test in, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic beta testing weekend 2. And I finally figured that shit out, so that wouldn't be a problem. And all I have to do is just set it up install the game, which is inadvertently pretty big. It's like 20 gigabytes, which is pretty crazy, but I admit it does have a lot of voice acting, and that's probably why. And it actually does have a main storyline, which is crazy. I can't believe that. Um, an MMO having a main storyline? Yeah, Alex, that's insane. Oh my god, but yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. I mean, I, I had, uh, I bought Star Wars 
Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the the RPG game, you know, one of the first RPG games made by BioWare, like, um, back in, when, when was it? It was like 2000, very early 2000, I can't remember, it was 2002 maybe? I don't know. But I remember it was like a huge deal, I remember my friend, uh, one of my friends loved to play it, he, he was, uh, he was big on that. I remember <laughs> back when I was younger, it, like, I always hated to play games, it was, it was really funny, it, it, I, mean, I, I hated to like, have a challenge in a game. It, it was so bad. I would only I would only play like the beginning when it was really easy. I always hated challenges in games. It was like one of my I don't know. I would just like buy a game and not play it. I was like looking back. I was like, wow. I'm I'm really you know I really like like a challenge now. I do like challenges in games. And back then I was like, nope, can't deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. That's fine. Oh yeah, here I'm just in a giant tunnel. It's uh. It's pretty funny. Uh, it took me a while to make this, and I got attacked a while, a lot. Well, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I got over the summer again. I was like, wow, this is like an awesome game. I'm, you know, there was no voice acting, obviously. There was just like, well, I mean, there was voice acting. Yeah, there actually was voice acting. What am I saying? There's no voice acting for you, which, of course, always happens. Except for the Mass Effect series, where they actually do give them a voice, obviously. Um, so... Uh, yeah, that was, it's like a great game, even though the graphics, graphics really kind of suck, suck balls a lot, but it's, uh, it's not a big deal. I remember the, I haven't played it since late July, actually, because I remember I got, like, July 5th, July 6th, I, uh, yeah, it was like, it was a Steam summer sale, and I got it for $5, so I was like, this is definitely a deal, and, uh, it's still worth $10, it's still, <laughs> it's still, like, worth half as much as, maybe, like, yeah, it's, it's crazy, but, uh, Right now they're having actually a sale on it too for five dollars. Now reminded me of it. Um, you know how it's such a such a good game, but uh, I haven't really played it in a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play actually a bit. That uh, that got me motivated to play it. Uh, but you know I just became a Jedi actually. I, oh yeah, the last thing the last thing I did was uh, was go on Kashyyyk, and I actually have a Wookiee companion with me from uh, the main world, which I picked up. And uh, you know he was like he was actually expelled from his world and like. Uh, that world has like tons of slavers on it that imprison the Wookiees, and they're very racist. And uh, I guess you have to figure that shit out. And uh, you know, luckily my character's a good guy. For some reason, I can never be I can never be a bad guy in a in an RPG game. I always have to be like the good guy, because there's like so much like evil in that world already that you might as well just be the good guy. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna at least try it one time. Uh, well, I think in uh. I might get Mass Effect 3. I don't know. I got Mass Effect, and I was like, well, this is pretty good. I was finished, and I was like, wow, that's that's pretty good. You know, I wonder... They'll definitely make a sequel, obviously. And, uh, you know, they ended up doing so, and apparently that was amazing. It was like, got Game of the Year award. So, I'm really disappointed that I didn't pick that up, but I did pick Ma Mass Effect, and that was... That showed a lot of potential, actually. And, uh... Yeah, so, I, I'm... That's basically the whole story, that, uh... You know, Star Wars The Old Republic is, uh... You know... I get to beta test it. The Knights of the Old Republic was an amazing game, and uh, EA and Origin are by far the biggest douchebags in history. No, 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 they aren't douchebags. They make good games. They uh, they definitely publish a lot of good games, but it's just their uh, their way of uh, handling support is kind of bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't quote me on saying EA EA is cool. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, they're definitely a bunch of cool guys. They're, uh, they're at least better than Activision, that's all I'll say. Okay, guys, so, uh, this ended up this, you know, this pretty much ends this video. Uh, yeah, it's been good talking to you about random stuff like Star Wars, Yo Republic and such. So, I just want to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And, uh, I will see you guys next time.